Hi, Bojan Savic here, Mercedes-Benz of Scottsdale 2021 GLB 35. I'm here to tell you about the first exterior styling of this vehicle. We're gonna go into the interior styling and uh, feature some of the vehicle. What is the AMG all about? AMG specifics, what the AMG is trying to accomplish over this vehicle, and then some of the specs and the options available for the GLB in this particular vehicle. So let's go about the exterior styling. First thing that you're gonna notice right away, it's the AMG specific grill. That's how you can recognize immediately this is an AMG vehicle because it's different because it has this vertically slotted grill, right? So AMG specific. What makes this vehicle immediately more bold, more muscular and more powerful than the GLB 250 maybe that you got used of the styling. So how did the uh, AMG styling department uh, accomplish that? Well, of course we have the AMG grill, but then you have the front as in the front splitter in the front of the A wing with the slots right here that come in. Also the LED headlights that come here. Everything looks so sharp. Everything looks more powerful. Everything looks more bold. With the two domes, power domes on the hood, this vehicle and especially finished with this black exterior makes this vehicle looks powerful makes you transfer the message to whoever is looking at this vehicle of the dominance of the capability of the power that's able to transform to the ground in this case this vehicle of course it's powered by the four cylinder motor uh, four cylinder motor enhanced by the amg so it produces 302 horsepower 295 pound feet of torque via the, our four medic system it gives the most of the power to the front wheels. When it's needed, transfer the power to the rear wheels. It's driven and it's pressed by eight-speed DCT transmission, dual clutch transmission. But let's go far as in the styling in this vehicle. So this particular one has an AMG night package. What is the AMG night package? Well, well, in this case, you have the side mirrors that are also black. But if you pick the white one, red one, blue one, so forth, they would be black, part of the night package. Also, the lines right here, that's usually brushed aluminum, the trim around the windows, that is black. Wheels will have to come black. In this case, we have optional 20 inch wheels that again, transferred the image of the dominance of the power far as in this vehicle. It's also on the front splitter and the front accents, they're all matte in black. So we have the really truly black on black. And we got go into the interior where we have a lot of the red styling so this particular vehicle also has the panorama roof so that blackness the image of this vehicle uh hopefully you like all this black it's transfers by the message of the amg exterior styling it's to transfer that this vehicle is very uh capable uh it does perform whether you're driving that in the city even though they tell us not very many of the GLB owners are going to be taking this to the track, but in case that you want, you definitely have nothing to be ashamed of. This vehicle will give you the plenty of the power. So now let's move to the interior of the vehicle. Let's talk about the interior styling on the vehicle and uh, some of the options and the features that it offers on the interior. Okay, one of the first things about when we talk about the interior, maybe I should have noticed this before, should I told you this before, AMG key, which you do have, this one is all blacked out with the AMG logo on the bottom. Somehow, some reason, I don't know why, I just like when the keys looks nice. And I think this is about one of the nicest looking keys that we do have right now. So, styling of the new key. The features as far as on the interior of the vehicle. Well, of course, right in front of you is the steering wheel. We're going to talk about that in the driving portion more. As far as on the, the layout and the display and everything else, you're going to notice that's very similar for the A-Class, the CLA, um, GLA, and now the GLB. Everything is very similar. We have the two 10 and a quarter display that's mounted right here. You have the three air vents 
right in the middle, one on the driver's side, one for the passenger side. That's a turbine wheel, so you can lock it and unlock it. What you want the, to let the air and the direct where you want the air temperature to go. 64 color ambient lighting. We can change right here which design of the mood, and we can have also the multi colors. It will give you the several of them. The whole point is when you get inside of the vehicle, you just want it to have that nice, pleasant feeling, right? You want to drive, but you want the atmosphere inside that looks nice. With 64 color, color ambient lighting, you can change the colors, which will set the tone and set the mood far as on this. So how it easy is to get? Well, you just go in the home, go into the lighting, hit into the ambient lighting, and now we click on the colors. So now we can choose if we want multicolor, multicolor and animation, welcome climate, and we change far as on the purple sky if we want to choose that red moon as you can see they'll change it fire red dawn blue sun yellow my favorite jungle green <laughs> um, this vehicle is of course the black and red all the interior so maybe the green is not the best choice but looks a little bit different sets you kind of in a different mode a different tone so 64 color ambient lighting this particular vehicle also it's equipped with the heads up display some of you like it some of you, it's not the best option in the world right now. It's available. It's one of my favorite clients say, that's why they have the menu in the restaurants. You pick the features and items that you would like on a car. Heads up display, I have to testify, it's very, very, very useful. When you put the information into the navigation, when you're going to the new address, to follow the informations right on your um, windshield, where to turn, how long do you have before the turn, especially on the roundabouts and stuff like that. I found it very, very useful, particularly there. Otherwise, it, yeah, definitely looks cool, but neither here or there, whoever wants it, uh, option is available. So, as you'd notice, this is a AMG a vehicle, Mercedes-Benz. It has the stitching right on the top of the, the door, but it has that also stitching on the dash. As far as in the fit and the finish of the vehicle, yes, I would get this is about as good as it gets, but you would expect from the Mercedes and the AMG to provide you nothing else but the world class, just the top of the line, which definitely in this display form is the A class, GLA, GLB, CLA. It, it really is nothing short of amazing. And yes, I do work for the Mercedes Benz. I think they do think this is the best. And I would love to challenge uh, far as on the interior who would do the same or the best far as in, the, in this segment of the vehicle. Below the screens and everything else and the vents that we have right here, we do have the air conditioning, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning controls, which are all touch that we can touch and feel. Mercedes-Benz did the research, find out that people want to touch, they want to press the buttons in this case. Yes, lower portion, you do have the cup holders. You have here the tray that you can put the items, but also you can drop in your phone. You can choose for the wireless charging that can be right here. Pretty cool. This part right here, I have the lot of questions when my live presentation, what is that for? To rest your palm, because this is where you can control your screen. You can control your screen from here, from the steering wheel. You can control it here and you can control it one more time. One more way. Mercedes-Benz user experience. Hey, Mercedes. How may I help you? Change ambient color to red. Okay, I'm changing the color. Magic. <laughs> uh, you can talk to the Mercedes-Benz uh, user experience, same like the Apple uh, CarPlay or the <laughs> Apple CarPlay, I meant to say that uh, Siri, Apple Assistant, or um, Google, you can save information as far as on the vehicle and uh, the vehicle will do that for you. That's one of the things that does come standard with the GLB 35 or uh, uh, GLB. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, of course, comes standard on the vehicle. Far as on the fit and the finish and the styling of the vehicle, I try to transfer as much of these options and the features that are surrounding you once you're in the driver's seat or maybe a passenger seat. But I still think that's going to be the best if you come to the dealership so we can show you. What's one of the first things when you enter the vehicle, when you get in the car and start driving, what, uh, what are the things you're going to notice right away? Well, I hope that you're uh, or should be uh, focused as far as on the beautiful steering wheel. 
far as on the design of the steering wheel, I really do think that's run right now one of the best in the industry as far as on the shape, design. This one is an AMG specific steering wheel. So it does have the flat bottom steering wheel, AMG logo right here on the bottom. And then to the left and to the right of this, where I thought the controls. So the controls, we have the controls to the left will be controlling the instrument cluster and everything else that gives right in front of the driver and the, the black square button that we have right here is going to be controlling everything that's in the infotainment system. So the beauty of this two 10 and a quarter inch screens and it gives you the plenty information and yes the beautiful thing is that you can customize it. You can choose which type of information do you want the vehicle to show you. Right now I have the tachometer but then right now I can have what are the tire pressures together as well as the tachometer. I can have what's the temperature of the engine, what's the temperature of the oil. Why would we need all that in a vehicle like GLB? Well, it is an AMG, right? <laughs> this is supposed to be exciting. And if you're going to be pushing the vehicle to its limits, which I do understand, most of the people will not be searching the limits of the performance of the GLB 35, but it is available because in the end, this is a, yeah, this is a serious performer far as and if we're going to take this vehicle on the track. As far as on the ride, um, I b strongly believe that as far as to experience the car, there is no other way but coming to the dealership and really getting be here behind the wheel of one. Now, we have to also be, um, be aware that any of the brand new the GLBs or any of the new AMGs, we're going to have this little sticker right here. Mercedes is making sure that they let you know that this vehicle, for the first thousand miles, you should not go over the 4,500 RPMs and you should not take it over 85 miles an hour. Speed limit is 75 miles an hour in Arizona. I'm not sure in the place where you live is, but um, <laughs> just suggestions, I guess. Uh, because the vehicle has a braking period because this is the AMG motor and AMG motors do have the braking period. The vehicle has to warm up and it has to cool down number of times before the really engine is breaking in. So, and after that, increase the load slowly so some of you enthusiasts might say why would i need all that i'm not going to wait for a thousand miles well, sure it's your car you can do however you like whatever you like but those are the amg suggestions those are the people that build this thing and they tell you this is how you're going to get the peak performance the fuel economy and longevity of this vehicle of this motor now we can take with this video a lot longer time because the description, quality description of the vehicle as a GLB 35 that has a, quite a few features on it will take extremely long time, which we don't have a problem. But just to keep the, uh, this segment short and kind of a to the point, I'm going to go uh, over the features. So the vehicle has MBUX system, Mercedes-Benz user experience. So we can say the commands and it will come to us. So we can say, hey, Mercedes. It's hot inside. I'm setting the temperature on the driver's side to minimum. Thank you. So as you can see, this is a basically a like um, trying to be like Siri for the iPhone or like the Google Assistant that you can communicate with your cars and you can say uh, the features that you want. So as far as on the driving of the vehicle and the experience of the driving, definitely you're going to experience the AMG motor. Again, I'm going to repeat 302 horsepower and 295 pound feet of tor torque. Twin scroll tur turbo chargers, four cylinder, all the good stuff. You do have the adjustments for the engine right here, so we can put it in the manual mode. Right now, the vehicle will tell you when you need to shift, making sure that I don't flip over the 4,500 RPMs. But if you want to have the more spirit of driving, not sure how much can you hear. And I have to make the U-turn here. Uh, but the vehicle, it's very, very fast because this is an AMG speed shift transmission, which shifts incredibly fast. I'm not sure am I able to really the chance for you that. But again, if you come to test drive the vehicle to experience for yourself, you're going to see and engage in the true beauty of the driving, true experience, the thrill. Because on the end, why would why would we choose the GLB 35? Why would we choose any of the um, performance vehicles? It's to feel something because that's the feeling that we're getting transferred far as on the vehicle. We're getting the different mode. It puts us in a different kind of a state of mind that we want to experience. So 
ride, it's not just a regular ride, but it's something a little bit, something that you would be looking forward to when it comes to time that you have to get behind the wheel. It's not just like the trip home, but it's the trip home that you really want to take. The different modes that we can uh, put the vehicle into, that's with the dynamic selection. So we can go, of course, with the individual comfort sport and the sport plus. Each one of these modes that we have, usually between the Comfort Sport and the Sport Plus, will make the transmission shift faster. Your throttle response is going to be more sensitive. So the vehicle is going to give you more power just on the engagement and initial engagement. When you press, you're going to get a little bit more power than you would usually from the Comfort to the Sport and the Sport Plus. Your RPMs are going to be raised a little bit. And also your suspension, is because it allows you for control damping because this is the base everything is based upon AMG settings uh, it will allow you to stiffen the vehicle to get it ready for the road for the handling that you would want to handle right now we're on the city streets not that much performance that I'll be using right now but I wanted to transfer that this vehicle can act with the dynamic plus as the regular drive smooth comfortable for you for the passengers for the entire family that can have the enjoyment of the SUVs. But just on the press of the button, this vehicle can transform into the real, true performance vehicle that will handle the corners, because AMG set this up suspension that can handle the corners at the great speed, and it will have the great handling. It can have the road zero to 60, and it can give you that true sports car feeling, the performance is enthusiastic. What I would like to emphasize on this vehicle, what the AMG and Mercedes-Benz did really well. There's a plenty of the space for the interior, especially for the driver and the passenger, far as in the volume, headroom, shoulder room, hip room, and stuff. It also, it's not too high of the ground. So you do still have the transfer of the speed, sensation of the speed, because lower we down to the ground, we experience the speed a little bit more versus higher off the ground we are. So you do have that feeling, but it's at the same time, it gives you the Confidence and utility as far as in the space for the passenger and as well for the passengers in the back kids or however you want we do have one video that i just want to shortly mention now where there's a glb we have the three people including me that are sitting in the first line of seating second line of seating and to the third lines of seating that uh, everybody's over six foot so six one six three and the six five all the way to the th third seat so this is very, very utility-based performance vehicle. And again, for to experience, to feel the GLB 35, I don't think that there's other way except to come and to drive one, see what the vehicle is all about. Does that match as far as on uh, your experience and uh, your wants and desires? Can you transfer that feeling that you're looking for into the GLB 35? Here's one part that I want to mention you, one of the really cool features of the GLB is right now as we're driving, as we approach the object, I hope you can see that it triggers the 360 camera so you can see the surroundings where you're at. As soon as you approach something, any kind of a barrier, parking lot, cars, so you see exactly where you're at. As soon as you pass that, it displays, disappears Sorry, from your screen. Excellent, excellent feature. As far as in, I don't think there's a person that's gonna not gonna find it very useful. So the 2021 GLB 35 it's powered by the inline four cylinders. So we all know that all the four cylinders are inline configuration, powered by the, also the twin scroll turbocharger. This vehicle in this setup it will produce 302 horsepower with 295 foot-pound of torque. So now, when we look at this configuration, you will notice that you have the hot and the cool sides of the motor, so that's why in the back you do have the heat shields, because this big turbo that produces this much horsepower, because this is the same 2-liter, just tweaked out differently, that's on a GLB 250, so it produces more power. This will sprint this particular vehicle to the 62 miles per hour in the 5.1 seconds, right around there. You would be speed limited at 155 miles per hour. So yes, this vehicle is capable. Yes, this vehicle is quick. How did we accomplish that? Yes, this particular vehicle does have the all-wheel drive system. 
all-wheel drive system, if you notice in the last 10 to 15 years, it's showing up more and more in performance vehicle. Why? Because this is how we gain zero to 60 times better. Because the power sometimes can be just transferred to just the two wheels. When it comes to the four wheels, it gets a little bit quicker. This vehicle is based upon the front wheel drive platform. That means when it needs, this vehicle will transfer up to the 50% to the rear wheels once it needs. If you're driving just the straight line, this would be a front wheel drive. This all wheel drive system kicks in when it feels the need for the more traction to the rear. That is all controlled by the ESP or the computer's brain and that sends the power where it's needed the most, where it needed the most, or if one of the wheels, it's losing traction, so it will transfer more power to the wheels. So that's the data far as on this power plant, 302 horsepower, 295 pounds of torque, 5.1 seconds to zero to 60, and it will get you to the 150 miles per hour, and that speed is limited. Now, let me talk about when you reach that speed, what is gonna stop you? It's important to stop, right? AMG braking system. This particular case, we have the 21 inch wheels. We'll touch on the options and the features just in a moment. I want to talk about the braking system. Well, this particular brake, so you can see they're finished in silver, but you can choose also for the red with AMG lettering. Reason why we have the AMG lettering and all that, we want to make sure that we give you the best possible braking system to stop all this power when you need it and when you want it. And you can stop it the shortest amount possible, right? You can notice also on our braking system that it has actually the two discs, two separate discs in this case. And of course there are disc brakes, ABS and all that good stuff. Who invented the ABS? That's right, CDs Benz together with Bosch. But on this particular car we have the four piston calipers, large diameter perforated loaders, single piston floating rear calipers in the rear. Ensure excellent fade resistance as far as in the brakes and a minimum stopping distance. So when you drive this vehicle for miles and miles and miles for the peak performance, you also want to make sure that you have the peak performance on the braking. Hence, we have the perforators on those little holes that will dissipate the heat. So let's move on to the other things that are important on this vehicle. The rear part of the vehicle, what we can see also that was transferred from the front, you do have the powerful message dynamic clues that are in the, all this finish in the black. You do have the lower diffuser that's gonna tell you that's more business-like. Also the twin tailpipes that we have in the black, this all finished in the black, will transfer the vehicle that it means all business. This is vehicle that really performs. Just far as on the clues of the exterior styling, far as on the car, I think that the two piece, the taillights, not too big, not too little, really fit. Good with the vehicle hatchback styling, far as in the whole, design of the back, it will give you the message that this is a serious performance AMG. So the AMG GLB 35 starting point of the price is 49500 but you have to also pay for the destination handling which is another 1050 So the vehicle efficiently starts at the 50500 right around there. There's a quite a few options that this particular vehicle have. I just want to make sure that I mention them so you're very well aware of that. So this vehicle has the night package. So night package, as I mentioned before, consists of you have the black pieces of the trim over here in the black. You have the side here that's uh, all in the black, far as on the trim on the windows. You have the side mirrors that are black. Wheels are optional of the 19, come standard, 20 optional. On this particular one, it has this turbine shaped wheels, which are 21 inch wheels. There's a all the options. 360 camera together with the park assist. Park assist 360 camera are basically the one feature. You do have the right here, the little dimples from the two side mirrors, one in the front, one in the rear, that increases the 360 camera. Panorama roof, it's optional on this vehicle. Also, you can have some with, some without. It's a $1,500 option. It's up to you. Like I said, one of my favorite customers said, that's why they have the menu in the restaurants. You pick which features do you like. Let me just point out some of the features that are on the interior of the vehicle. So that would be the main of the things that are particular on this vehicle that comes as an option, that comes on the standard. So if we put all this vehicle into the context of what it comes out to, it's 61,795, particularly on this one. And it, yes, we can say it's fairly loaded with the options because it has about over $10,000 worth of 
extras or the features that you would pick on your particular GLB35. Again, thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Bojan Sarek, here at the Mercedes-Benz of Scottsdale, and I would like to invite you to visit our showroom and see this and experience this for yourself.